Hey, use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel. You get a free $20 to play with. Also, check out my links down in the description for Twitter, Twitch, second and third channels for all different types of content that you might enjoy. So be sure to check it out and let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. And today we are back doing another prospect breakdown and I will get this off my chest to begin here. A lot of people are not going to like this video and they're hearing things that they don't want to hear, that they don't want to believe, uh, but this is a purely analytical review of Kyler Murray and what he brings to the table, how he might translate to the NFL. What does he bring to the table as a quarterback, as a passer, and all the things that go along with being a passer. So we're going to be talking about the pros, we're going to be talking about the cons, and then I'm going to throw it over to the cover, not the cover two podcast, excuse me, to the seventh round bus podcast with wheels now on Spotify and iTunes, also this channel all the time. Subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'm sorry if you hear things that you don't want to hear, but I really, I really can't be that sorry. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, first off, we're going to be talking about the pros of Kyler Murray, and this is that he is an above average arm. This is a pretty good arm. It's an NFL caliber arm for sure, and he really does have good touch. Throws a fantastic deep ball as well. These are really good traits that Kyler Murray has. He throws on the run almost better than he does uh, on a plant, which you can take that as maybe a pro or a con, but he's an elite runner with good mobility, and he can, he can make these throws on the run. He can buy you time in the pocket. He can escape pressure because he has very, very good speed elite level speed i think kyler murray's gonna test somewhere in the low four fours could run even faster he is really really fast and that certainly does bring a value to the table at qb because you can evade some of these really really fast edge rushers even these defensive tacklers are getting faster and faster as the day goes on look at aaron donald uh, but that mobility is definitely going to be a plus and he has a he has an nfl caliber arm accuracy is really solid overall but the thing is, he's throwing to a lot of wide open receivers. You're going to hear people talk about how he played against the Big 12. I think there is something to be said about that. But his accuracy is good, even if he is throwing to wide open receivers. However, I do have a number of cons with him. First one being, he has happy feet in the pocket. So you're going to see him tap his feet quite a lot. It's because he's paranoid of pressure. He can't handle pressure coming in, and he is very, very poor against it. He doesn't really have that ability to... Uh, to reset, as you're going to hear me talk about in the actual 7th Round Bust podcast. He doesn't have that ability to reset as a passer. He's a really a one-read quarterback, and if it's open, he's going to throw to it. That's great. Accuracy is there. Fantastic. If it's not open, he does one of two things. He will look to run, or he will throw it up. These are not great traits. If you're so trigger happy to run that you can't go through your progressions, he really doesn't do that. And you talk about the Big 12 as we did a little bit earlier. Baker Mayfield, he had the ability to reset when his first read wasn't open and then go through his progressions, look to see who was open, and then make the correct throw. Kyler Murray just doesn't have that, and that's going to be a huge knock on him at the next level. It is a problem, as is his height. He isn't 5'10". He's... Probably about 5'9". I say about. I think he got measured in cleats or something because you can see him standing next to guys of around the same height. He looks about the same size uh, as Hollywood Brown in in some instances. And Hollywood Brown is about 5'9", 5'10". Kyler Murray, he looks shorter, honestly. And I know that like that's a little, uh, you know, uh, conjecture. It's not true necessarily. I don't have his exact height. But if I had to guess, based on seeing him in the pocket... Based on seeing him stand straight up, he is not even 5'10", and 5'10", is super small for a quarterback. He's probably 5'8 and a half, maybe 5'9", and this is not Russell Wilson, right? I see a lot of people compare him to Russell Wilson, and that's a lazy comparison. Russell Wilson is an elite pocket passer with also tremendous mobility. Kyler Murray has more mobility than Russell Wilson. He is faster. He's a better runner than Russell Wilson is, but Russell Wilson is a pure pocket passer can go through his progressions at a really, really high level, and he also has the good arm. I might even take Kyler Murray's arm. I think his the arms are fairly comparable, uh, but as a, as a pure quarterback, they couldn't be further um, from each other. Russell Wilson also is 5'11". He's also 215 pounds. Kyler Murray is about 180, 185 pounds, uh, and Russell Wilson has a ton of weight on him, 
really important for durability. Uh, and Kyler Murray stares down receivers. It's it's a problem. It's We're talking about the one read thing. He never throws the ball away. And with that low height, you're seeing him constantly throw into the offense, or excuse me, the offensive, sometimes offensive, but defensive line as well. These passes get batted down at the line a lot. I saw in the Alabama game, there were three or four separate instances where Kyler Murray's passes were batted down. He can't really throw short, and I think it's because of that height. He can't throw these slants. He has to wait for these routes to develop a long way down the field so he can actually get it over the defensive line and hit his targets, which is a problem. You got to make quick reads in the NFL, and if he doesn't have that ability, it's going to be an issue. It really, it really is. He likes to throw off balance. He's going to fade on a lot of his throws. You hear wheels talk about that, and it's true. Uh, it really is. He panics in a clean pocket, and he's just inconsistent on a lot of those quick throws, those quick reads, because some of them are ratted down, and a lot of time he's just trying to get it there. He has to fit it through a window to get it over the line, and the ball's not in the correct spot. A lot of the time, it is a problem. I think Kyler Murray is a great arm, but can you outcoach some of these terrible traits? I hope so, man, because this would be a really fun player to watch. But as a pure quarterback, you're talking about making reads, going through progressions, making adjustments at the line, throwing the ball accurately and making good decisions under pressure. He just doesn't have that for me at all. I think his comparison, it's tough to say. I don't really like comparisons for this exact reason, that it's tough to really give them a true comparison, and I know this this video is going to get long. I apologize um, if you if you're looking for a short video. I don't really have a comparison for him. You might see Johnny Manziel on the screen. I think that's unfair because he's a better athlete than Johnny Manziel, and he's a better arm than Johnny Manziel. But as a quarterback, to me, he has a lot of the same traits that Johnny Manziel had, which was uh, paranoid under pressure, a little bit trigger happy in the pocket to run, even with no pressure coming in. A lot of the traits of Johnny Manziel, but he also has the traits of Lamar Jackson, of Michael Vick, of Russell Wilson to some extent, although that's really from an arm standpoint, more so than as a quarterback. We talked about that a little bit. Uh, and I think his true talent is probably the second or third round. He's going to go in the first. I would I would guess he's going to go in the first. Mid-round is probably where you're looking at, you know, like in that 10 to 20 range, a team might trade up for him or a team might take him. Redskins, Dolphins, you never know. But for me, I think the bottom line is that he's an intriguing player. His height hurts him a lot, and it's his, uh, his biggest issue. And I think his height contributes to a lot of his issues as a pocket passer. And it's, it's a weird player with a super high ceiling. If you can coach out some of these terrible traits, he's going to be a stud. But um, right now, I, I don't really like what I see. Three good fits. I would say you'd have to put him behind a decent offensive line to find success. Uh, he's good as a runner, so I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, but you look at maybe the Miami Dolphins as a team, the New England Patriots, it would be a really interesting setup for him. Um, and then I don't even know if I could find a third good fit, man. Third good fit, we'll say, is, is the Jaguars. They've got a decent offensive line and they're someone who's potentially in need of a quarterback. It's a weird player. I think he's got a great ceiling, but I am a Giants fan. My team is drafting at number six. Uh, I, I hope they don't call Kyler Murray's name. I think he has too many problems, too many things to overcome for him to be a really successful quarterback in this league. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the seventh round bust. Further, more expansive, extensive breakdown. We going with Kyler Murray? Let's go with Kyler Murray first. Kyler Murray, quarterback out of Oklahoma. He is a uh, straight up what junior, right? Uh, redshirt junior. Straight up redshirt redshirt junior. Redshirt okay. junior. Um, he was at A and M for for a minute, mm -hmm. and uh, he is listed all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> this is it's so ridiculous. 5'10", 195. This is just no mm -hmm. way. There's no way he's five ten one ninety five. Let's just his throw that his there. weight, I would give him 185 at his heaviest. I think he's probably more like 175, 180. And he certainly is not 5'10". <laughs> he's 5'9 with cleats on, I guess. This is a guy that's probably, without shoes, 5'8", 5'8 and a half. And I'm not even saying that to be funny. I like That's his probable actual height without shoes on. 5'8 and a half is what I'd give him. Which is pretty small to play the quarterback position. Yeah, it's like Some, uh, he would be the shortest starting quarterback since Doug Flutie. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I mean, and Doug, Doug Flutie was 5'10". 
Yeah. Kyler Murray is not 5'10". There's no way. You you show me 5'10 guy next to Kyler Murray, and it's going to be an inch or two. For sure. It, it just would be. He, there's no way. Especially, like, and you know as a player that was uh, thinking about getting recruited to colleges to play football, they boost your height. What are you listed at, like, 6'1"? Six six oh, yeah. They, they'll, they'll, they'll throw on an inch. Into yeah, two. so, <laughs> I mean, like, I, especially if you're gonna play quarterback, I imagine him coming out of at a high school. They're like, yeah, he's uh, well, five ten. He <laughs> isn't. He's not. He's uh, and then five ten. If if they boost him up to five ten, oh, that's still short to play. Like, uh, I'm telling you, five eight, five nine. That's his range. He is not five ten. Yeah. He's not close to five ten. And what's crazy is like people compare him to Russell Wilson. He like Ooh. Russell Wilson has like two inches and like twenty pounds on him. Oh, at least 20. At least Russell 20 Wilson's, pounds. Russell Wilson's 215. He it might, might have be like 30, 30 pounds. 40 pounds yeah. on him. <laughs> like, it, there's a ridiculous uh, level of, of bulk that Russell Wilson has. Like, Kyler Murray does not. And that does matter. Mm-hmm. Um, some pros for Kyler Murray. Above average arm strength. It's nothing to write home about, in my opinion. He does have a great deep ball. His touch is fantastic. But it's kind of weird. He almost throws better on the run than actually setting his feet and planting, which he doesn't like to do very often at all. Um, a lot of the times he chooses to throw off balance, which is kind of weird, but the, the weird thing about it is the ball gets there. His accuracy is very good, but the main concern I would have is I don't think he really uh, threads the needle a lot. I don't think he's throwing into super tight windows. His receivers get a ton of separation. He's, he's playing with C.D. Lamb. He's playing with Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown might be a first-round pick this year. C.D. Lamb might be a first-round pick next year. And these are on them as receivers. Like, I thought it was crazy with the separation that Baker Mayfield was throwing to, but he does things right as a pocket passer with surveying the field, with making reads, with going through his progressions. Kyler Murray really doesn't do that for me. Um, obviously an elite runner, but he's got real happy feet in the pocket. I know, I know Wheels did, like, a funny Photoshop of the, the happy feet poster. Yeah, <laughs> might see it on the screen, but he really has happy feet in the pocket. This is not a guy who really likes to plant and throw. He's constantly tapping his feet, and he's just so, so happy to run without really going through his reads, going through his progressions. He's looking to run almost immediately, like worse than Lamar Jackson was at Louisville, in my opinion. He is paranoid of pressure. His height also hurts. You see a lot of plays where he uh, has passes batted down at the line and that's only going to get worse as he gets up to the next level it's it's really interesting to watch him play a lot of the time you'll see him just really wait for routes to, to develop as far as they can so we can get the ball over the lineman and that's not going to work with pressure coming in in the nfl it just it just won't you have to make quick reads and he doesn't do that almost ever decision making is also a questionable thing for me because you'll see him have that one read and then they're like oh it's not open and he just goes fuck it i'm throwing it anyway and you're like why would you ever make that decision and it hasn't hurt him a lot uh, you see like dropped interceptions and and uh batted down balls where it's like he's throwing into double coverage deep down the middle of the field where there is no separation and that is super worrying uh worrisome because he doesn't do things that a first round quarterback does from a mental standpoint, from a mechanical standpoint, and it's a problem. His arm is fantastic. Accuracy, power, he's got good arm talent. But his decision-making, his, his mental processing as a quarterback is poor. Stares down receivers all day. He does. It's so bad when you're watching him because he really does have that one read, and he's going to it. A lot of times he doesn't have like that Baker Mayfield ability to say, okay, first read isn't open. What do we do now? And kind of resurvey, reset, go over the rest of the field and make that read to the open receiver. Kyler Murray just doesn't do that. He's always looking to run, never throws the ball away. Uh, and boy, Wheels, do you know he loves an off-balance throw. He really does. Oh, man. Um, I, I don't think over the course of the maybe five or six games we saw when we were watching him on uh, on stream, I don't I don't see him make any like pre-snap adjustments ever. It's like once in a blue moon. It's kind of, this is the play. He seems like he's a real Lincoln Riley system-based quarterback 
that gets by because he can he can run like nobody's business. Uh, he panics in a clean pocket, which is concerning. And it's like, hey, make your reads. Look for the routes to develop. If the first read isn't there and he chooses not to throw it, he is running the football. He doesn't have second reads that he goes to, and that is certainly uh, cause for concern. And um, his quick throws are inconsistent, accuracy-wise, and I think a lot of that is due to height. What do you what do you what do you think? I know he just died. Uh, oh no, there like for a minute. Yeah, like, no, we uh we agree on this a lot. I think he does have a good arm, and uh, it's just it's the what's around in the pocket like he just doesn't it doesn't look like he's comfortable ever in the pocket even when he has a completely clean pocket it looks like he's always ready to go um staring down the receiver though the one thing i really really don't like about kyler murray and you kind of touched on this is that uh he's off balance on throws he if you watch him throw the ball he will fade on every throw mm -hmm. almost I would say like 85% of his throws, he's fading backwards. And, you know, it's because he's trying to get the ball up and over the offensive line. I think it's what it has to be. Yeah. And, and that height is just a problem. The, the height, you, we saw a lot of tip, like a few tip passes, and that's going to be mm -hmm. even worse in the NFL because there are bigger linemen in the NFL. So it's just, uh, I, I see what people like about Kyler Murray because of the arm. And, uh, you know, the his running arm ability, is, is really, really he good. He has a really it, good arm. He makes plays that go, you know, you'll go, hey, that's Patrick Mahomes right there. But this, like, people want to compare Kyler Murray to Russell Wilson, and the comparison is not there. Russell Wilson is a polished pocket passer that has dealt with a poor offensive line by buying time in the pocket, rolling out when he needs to, and he always knows when to throw it away. And Russell Wilson goes through his progressions really really well the russell wilson comparison is not one i like at all people just want to make that comparison pigeonhole him into the short quarterback area but russell wilson does things like a top 10 quarterback does because he he is a top 10 quarterback easily uh and i don't think kyler murray right now profiles as a first round player as a quarterback really worries me i think the bottom line here is he's an intriguing player his height absolutely hurts and is his greatest detractor by far. He makes a ton of flashy plays, but he really doesn't do things right from a mental processing standpoint, and he's really going to let you down with consistency. I think he is a, a uh, around 2-3 to three player as a quarterback that's probably going to go in the first round, and I know people are going to hate all over that. He won the Heisman, but what I look for in a quarterback is things that like Baker Mayfield had, which is mental processing, ability to adapt, under pressure, especially Baker was incredible. Kyler Murray's terrible at doing that. And these things are really, really going to hurt if he tries to be an NFL quarterback, which I guess he's going to be. Uh, and I don't have a comparison for him, really. I think he shows traits of guys like Lamar Jackson, of Michael Vick, but of Johnny Manziel, too. And I think it's an issue. I think Johnny Manziel with a better arm is the most accurate comparison you're going to get. And it's a weird player. It's, it's part of the reason I don't like comparisons because a lot of times there isn't one. And if there's ever been a player without a true comparison, I think it's probably Kyler Murray. He's a good player, but he needs to get over some of these mental hurdles because they will really, really hurt him if he's the same player throughout his career. Yeah, it's uh, it's almost like maybe the Big 12 defense has really helped him out. And uh, the decision-making, uh, he does not throw the balls away. That's another thing we noticed too is he does not throw the ball away. He will try to just throw it up or just run. So, a little bit worrying. Uh, I, I would say, like, I don't even, I kind of don't even want to grade him as a round two guy. I, I almost want to say, like, three three to five guy. But he is going to go in the first round just because of hype alone, I would think. And, I think uh, his arm and accuracy is what brings him up to a two three for me. Yeah. And, and the running ability, obviously, is good. I think is he's really probably a third round quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, but his arm is so good. Yeah. So it's just it's I think a he's, weird player. Very very yeah, weird player. Uh love or hate player and I mean is the team going to take a chance on him? Maybe. Absolutely. Maybe. Absolutely. Especially he's going to go round. in the first round. I think he's he, going to go in the first round. I think he goes in the first round. I don't think he'll go as high as some people are going to th are thinking. Maybe mid first, I would say he he probably Yeah. Go. That's probably a decent spot. And this I don't think people are always going to say it, but it's not hating on him. No. It's just He's such a weird player, and he does so th so many things poorly that even though he, he makes these incredibly flashy plays and he has 
you know, these great throws and with, with touch, accuracy, power, great deep ball. But the consistency, the accuracy on a down-to-down -down basis is not there. And I think what really kind of sells me the opposite way on him, so I guess it doesn't sell me on him as a player, is the only real defense he played the entire year was against Alabama. And every defense he plays in the NFL is going to be better than Bama, probably significantly. And he looked really bad in the Alabama game. He looks really bad. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. It's, it's just, this is a weird player. It's, it's, it's bottom tough. line. It's tough. And yeah. I, I would love to see his measurements if he does, you know, end up at the combine, which is still kind of a question. We don't know. We don't know if he's actually going to go to the NFL. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a weird player. It's definitely a weird player. I think, definitely don't think a team should trade up into the top 10 No, together. no, no. Definitely don't I think, think so. The bottom line with him, before we move on to the next player, and I guess this will probably end the prospect breakdown video if you guys are watching this on, on the Bengal YouTube channel um, later, is he has first round traits and he has sixth or seventh round traits. So it kind of, it's it's weird player, weird player. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like just some absolutely amazing stuff and then other stuff is like, whoa, mm -hmm. how is he even going to be in the NFL? So yeah, Kyler Murray, interesting player and... I guess we'll just leave it at that for now.